If statements are so powerful in code, a hero of mine once said, with great power comes great responsibility. Thus, before I bestow to you the power of the if statement, I must ensure you're worthy. So we're going to play a fun little game with comparison operators. And by fun, I mean painful. I'm going to break you. Here's how the game works. Up on the top of your screen, you'll see a bunch of variables. I'm going to write a code statement that uses these variables with the comparison operators we just learned about. You need to pause the video, evaluate the code statement, and tell me if it's true or false. Ready? We'll start off with an easy one. Take a look at this line of code, pause the video, and tell me if it evaluates to true or false. By the way, I'm purposely making the font size small because the code is going to get a lot more difficult soon. All right, the answer to this one is false. Our lucky number variable is seven and the unlucky number variable is four. Seven does not equal to four, so this statement is false. Next up, this one's a little more complicated. Pause now and tell me if it's true. Let's evaluate this statement one step at a time. First, we'll substitute in actual numbers instead of the variable names. Then we finish up all the math. We're left with seven does not equal to seven. Clearly, this isn't true. The answer is false. Here's another quiz. This time, we're using the OR comparison. Is this statement true or false? Substituting in our variables, this statement becomes true or false. Since at least one of the two values in an OR statement need to be true, this ultimately evaluates to true. Great! Let's take things up a notch in difficulty now. Those were pretty easy. Here we go. Here's something you haven't seen before. This time, we have multiple comparison operators in a single code statement. You'll also notice we have parentheses to group up the logic. And we're now comparing date values as well. Pause the video, take a good look at this, and tell me if it's true. Let's break this down. Our variable on the left is true. Our comparison in the parentheses is also true. When using AND statements, both values must be true, which is the case here. So our answer is true. Hope you got that one right. Here we go now. Oh boy. Yes, this statement is only medium difficulty. Notice now we have a lot of parentheses. In fact, we have parentheses inside parentheses. Don't let this scare you. Pause the video, take this line of code one step at a time, and tell me if it's true or false. All right, let's do this. First, we substitute in our actual values while preserving the parentheses. Next, we evaluate the code in the innermost parentheses. The left side evaluates to false. And now it's clear the final result should be false. No matter how daunting a code statement might look, as long as you tackle it one step at a time, each time in small bite-sized pieces, you'll eventually get to a straightforward result. This philosophy really applies to many things in code and in life, actually. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. All right, now it's time to get serious. From here on out, it's going to be seriously difficult. One step at a time. Good luck. In this code statement, I'm purposely trying to inflict pain on you. Now we have dot notation going on, and we have a bunch of exclamation points too, which, remember, takes the opposite value of the thing to the right of it. All I can say is, no one said it'd be easy. Okay, to evaluate this, we again take it one step at a time, first substituting in our values. The dot notation subtracts a day from tomorrow, making it equal to today. This statement turns out to be true because today is less than or equal to today. Now we evaluate the exclamation points, which flip values. So true becomes false, 
and false becomes true. Next, we evaluate our statement in parentheses. And now we see the answer is false. Give yourself a pat on the back if you got that one. Congratulations, you've earned the right to use if statements. On second thought, I'm going to be evil and give you one final challenge before you unlock the if statement. Maybe I'm just a twisted person, or maybe years of reading unnecessarily confusing code has made me cynical. The next line of code is something you might see a bad programmer write. Always remember, good code is code that's easily understood by others. Here you go. Pause the video and solve this now. All right, what the heck is going on here? Let's tackle this one step at a time. First, we do nothing but substitute in our variable values. Next, let's flip this to true because it has an exclamation point by it. All right, time to evaluate the innermost parentheses. 7 times 4 turns into 28. We continue evaluating everything inside parentheses before moving forward. And now we flip the value on the left again because of the exclamation point. And finally, congratulations, we evaluate this statement to false. Bum da da dum, you've unlocked the if statement. If you can tackle these comparisons, you can tackle any comparison. I really mean that. And comparisons are the hardest part of if statements. The rest is gravy.